today we're going to take a look at how XVN's advanced analytics can help you quickly triage incidents and events than you would find in a normal SIM. Let's look at a normal SIM and look for an alert ID that our help desk have given us. We can see that this is a DLP alert. We can see that it's from this source host uh, on this source IP and then it's uploading a lot of data. We don't know who the user ID is because the log doesn't give us, give us that information. So let's expand our search and see if we can find the user ID. Here's some Salesforce information from the same machine uh, with the user H Osborne. Let's expand our search to include H Osborne and see what else we can find. Now we've got a lot more information. We can see the Salesforce logon. We can see that within Salesforce, he's viewing a contact. Um, we can also see that he's a sales rep. So viewing contacts is probably normal part of his business day to day. Uh, viewing contacts, viewing contacts, viewing more contacts. Let's see, viewing a lot more contacts, uh, viewing contacts. Oh, here we go, something different. So he's creating a report. Uh, that report is for accounts all. So that's probably a little bit unusual that he's getting all the accounts uh, if he's just a sales rep. Uh, he's then exporting that data and then it looks like he's deleting that report that he created. So that's a little bit suspicious that somebody creates and deletes reports within a short period of time. And we'll have to check out if that's something that he normally does or his peers normally do as well. If we look down further, there's Office 365 activity. It looks like he's uh, looking in the sales documents folder for competitive information. That's possibly normal behavior for him. We, just, we don't know, but it is sales information and here's a sales rep looking at more documents, RFPs and videos. Uh, and that's it, we'd need to go onto our second page and continue the search. So let's jump over to the advanced analytics and see how we'd do the same search. Let's look for that same alert ID. And this time what we find is, uh, We've already got the information that we need to hand. It's Howard Osborne and he's a sales rep. We can see that the VON2 DLP alert is here. And we can see that that alert is in a session that we consider to be high risk. Anything above 90, um, you should investigate. So this is 379. Let's take a look at the timeline. Here's our original DLP alert that's got some points of risk. And let's scroll back in the timeline and find out what's happened. So here we can see there's a USB copy um, to this device. We can see that he ended up downloading all of those sales documents. Um, and that was him viewing the sales documents there. We can, if we scroll back further, we can see the create report, export report and delete report in Salesforce. Um, so one of the questions that we had was whether this was normal behavior for this user or for his peers. And if we look at our risk scoring here, we can see that this is the first time that anybody in the sales rep team um, has deleted reports. So they normally view reports or export reports, they don't delete reports. So that's unusual behavior. In fact, uh, if we look at create report, um, they don't create reports either um, and nobody in the organization has done a report previously for accounts all. So that's very risky behavior. And we've been able to find out a lot more information about this case uh, than we did in the traditional SIM in much shorter amount of time. Thank you.